Hello, good evening, William. How are you, mister? Bye, teacher. Hello, tell me, how was your weekend? That's perfect, my weekend teacher. Oh, really? A perfect weekend? What did you do? Tell me. Did you go out? Did you stay home? Yes, to rest, to rest all day, Sunday. Oh, really? You were resting? Yes, teacher. That's awesome. That's awesome. So today, back to work. Uh, now, yes, teacher. Uh, but the good thing, the good thing is that you finish working early, right? Yes. Uh, hace, uh, how do you say it? It depends. Give me the phrase. Dígame la frase. Uh, hace un momento, eh. Vengo llegando. Okay, you say it like this. Say it así, mire. Hi. Like this. I just arrived home. I just arrived home. Uh, uh, Sally. I left. I left to make one activity with my partner after uh, the, oh, the in that work. case, I went out. I went out. So it would be, I went out. I went out one activity with my party after or Oh, really? Yes. Oh, that's interesting. So it was, you just arrived, man, it's late, almost eight. Uh, every time, uh, um, Wall, walking, walking yes. the work with my parents este, uh, in this activity. Oh, really? Yes. That's interesting. Venia es coming, teacher. Tell me the phrase, dígame la frase. Venía rápido. <laughs> oh no, I was coming. I was coming fast. I was coming fast for studying English. <laughs> oh really? Well, it's good. It's good to have you here in class, mister. Thank you, Chad. Oh, it's great. It's great. So you haven't had dinner yet? No, teacher. <laughs> oh, well, enjoy, mister. We will talk with somebody else here in the class. Don't worry. Enjoy. Disfruta. Vamos a hablar con alguien más acá. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Let's see. There's Marcela. Hello, Marcela. How are you? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. Good evening. What about you? Good evening. I'm just teacher. great. I'm just great. Just great. Tell me, how was your day? How was your weekend? How was your weekend? Tell me. Tired. Uh, weekend good. It was good. Okay, a good weekend. What did you do during the weekend? You were home resting. You went out with your friends, with your family. I'm working the half day, and the in the afternoon I take my own um la lleve. No sé cómo decir la lleve. I I took her. I took her to the clinic, and all that. Uh, Sunday, only in house, just in house. Um, watching At TV. Home. At home. At home. At home and watching TV.
Okay. That's nice. So you had a good rest during the weekend. Yes. <laughs> excellent, sí. excellent. And you? Oh, wow. Let me see my weekend. Working on Saturday. Then what did I do? Oh, I went to Suchitoto for lunch. Uh -huh. Then came back home. Then working in some documents. Then Sunday morning, just doing some house chores. Doing some house chores. In the morning and in the afternoon, working a little bit. And well, working. That's all I do. Only working. Uh, yeah. And we can come in. We can too. Uh, that's the way it is. Welcome to the class, Marcela. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Ooh, Walter. Hello, Walter. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good uh, evening, mister. A little tired, teacher. And the start the week, oh my God, a little tired. Yeah, well, yeah, it's Monday. It's a Monday. Mondays are like long. Yes. Uh, uh, this, uh, this time, a lot of, a lot of work, always. Oh, really? A lot of work. Yes, in my work, in my house. And yesterday, in the morning, and, and cleaning the house, and afternoon, and <clears throat> we we was playing soccer. We and were my friend, my friend, my son is. Así pasan los días. How do you say? Okay. Oh. Interesting phrase, interesting phrase. Time passes by like that. Okay, thank you, teacher. And time pass by like that. Passes by <laughs> like that. Oh my yes, gosh. Sure. Guys, perdón que los interrumpa. Eh, si alguien tiene el link para entrar al curso, se lo puede compartir en el grupo. María Luisa lo necesita. And for me, it's a little bit complex in this moment. I will be very grateful. Okay. Okay. So, Walter, so what about today at work? A hard day? Oh, oh my God. And a day? A lot of work, teacher. And, Thank you, Amar. And the and start the the work in the morning and the chat email and the send email and review and report is excuse me uh, a lot of work teacher is the moment oh. department and start the work well and start a lot of work it's good when we have work no yeah it's good yes. to have a lot to do yeah, teacher. Yeah, yes. well, welcome to the class, Walter. <laughs> Thank you very much. Nice talking to you, my friend. You're welcome, teacher. Thank you. Let's see, let's see. Claudia, hello, Claudia. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. And you? I'm just great, just great here, ready to start my class. It's a very interesting day. Today, we're going to talk about procedures and you are going to tell me about procedures. So it's going to be fun. So tell me, how was your weekend, Claudia? What did you do? Um, I have a good weekend. Oh, um, really? Uh, yes, yes, because I needed relax. And on Saturday, I got up early because I went to the, the Gran Via. And really? Yes, yes. I. I ate uh, the breakfast in the restaurant, the cebollina. Uh -huh. mm. After after that, I went to the to the Tunco Beach. See, I have a good a good, a good experience. 
Oh my, that was excellent. So you yes. really have fun. See, and I forgot to take picture for because I, I needed a reduction. Oh yeah, you know, we wanted to watch the pictures. Come on, next time take the pictures. <laughs> yes, teacher. I really enjoy them, the beach. Oh, I love going to the beach, it's so nice. Yes. That's, and, and That's my favorite trip, going to the beach. I see, love it yes. late in the afternoon. I just love it. Ya un poquito tarde. I like it. Between 3.30, 4, 5 p.m. for me is the most beautiful time staying in the beach. It's peaceful for me. Yes, it's, it's beautiful. See, I have a, a excellent weekend. Yeah, actually, you know what? Also, I like walking on the beach at night. When there's a full moon, man, that's beautiful. Yes, it's, uh, it's, it's beautiful. Well, I, nice, nice, nice talking to you, Claudia. I like it. You brought back memories. recuerdos. Thank you very much. Okay, teacher. Thanks. Let's see. Uh, 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 who else is around? Daniel. Hello, Daniel. Hi, teacher. Hello, Daniel. How's the projects? Uh, everything's good right now, but we are we are ending a budget. Another one. So Man, you got a lot of work. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. And That's tomorrow, cool. yeah, tomorrow we will uh, send it to the client. And she said that she want she want the budget the most quick as is possible. So they so she can pay us to start uh, as soon as possible. Okay, so she wanted the quickest. That's nice. Yeah. That's nice. That's nice. So you can start working on it. Yeah. And we hope that probably it will uh, begin this week, hopefully. Oh my gosh. So how many projects are got you going for yourself right now? Right now, there are three in in process, but they are more like uh, segregaciones. ¿Cómo se dice? Segregación? Yes, yeah, segregation. Segregation at the CNR. Interesting. Yeah, and este in construction this will be the first but first the one. same the first one yeah the same client want to make a ranch oh, really at the beach yeah yeah at the beach and they said that the offer was a, a little higher so they don't want to make at first was a principal house in a guest house. Oh. Uh, now they only want the principal house and the pool. So they want to see how much uh, can load the budget. Okay, that's nice, that's nice. Well, the good thing is that there's work coming on. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's interesting, I mean, it's very interesting and a little bit stressful, I imagine. Yeah, but it's good. It will be more stressed if there is anything to do. Yeah, if there isn't anything to do. Oh, okay. You can say it two ways. You can say it with the negation at the beginning. There isn't anything to do or there is nothing to do. Both ways are correct. 
Oops, Daniel, I lost you. Oh, okay. Oh, now you're back. You froze for a little while. Okay, Daniel, thank you very much. Very interesting talking to you, Mr. Sorry. Thanks for talking to me. Thank you and welcome to the class. Okay, let's see. Ambar, hello, Ambar. Hello, teacher, good evening. Good evening, my dear. Tell me, you ready to go back to work? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, that's cool. So how many days have you been absent? Uh, 30 days. 30 days, oh my, a long while. Yes, uh, but I, I feel, ¿Cómo sería? Eh, how do you say? He sentido que han pasado rápido. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, you say it like this. I felt time like a way. Like this. I, I, I felt, felt time fast, fast. Past fast. Ah, okay. I felt okay. time pass fast. Hold on. I felt time pass by fast. Pass by. I felt time. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Give me a second. Pass okay. by. Pass by fast. I felt time pass by fast. Yep. Oh, really? Yes. The and time is running. Hey, actually it flies away so fast. Yes. But you know, uh, uh, no, for me, no. When I was here, man, it was terrible. I stayed home two months. Two months for, yeah, for your hand. Yes, yeah, just for my hand, two months, man, terrible. Uh, I... I'm sorry. And, and the problem is that when you spend that much time home to get back on track, coming going back to work is also hard. Um, not really. I mean, yes, to get to get used again to to the routine of going to work is a little bit hard. Well, at yes. least in my in my case it was because I stayed home too long. But well, anyway, in my case. Uh, because yes. I have a uh, almost two years uh, work in my home. Oh, that's fine. So you're going to continue working from home? Yes. So you're not going back to the office? No, uh, the company, uh, how do you say, mantiene el trabajo desde casa? Keeps. Keeps, keeps the, the home office. Well, keep in, the your home situation, office. in your actual situation, that's favorable, right? Yes, I prefer the yeah, home you're office. More, you're more comfortable. Yes, it's more comfortable and say, secure, secure yes. for me. <laughs> sure, yeah, yeah, of course, safe, safe. For my health, for my... <laughs> Security. Safe. Safe, sorry. Safe, seguridad safe. Well, interesting, nice talking to you, Amber, and welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. Francisco Eduardo, hello, mister, how are you? Hello, teacher, hello, everybody. Hello, Francisco, tell me, you home, you working, never quite catch your schedule. <laughs> Uh, in my home, in my house, teacher. <laughs> so you're not going to work today? No, teacher. Today, no. Uh, I am working. Um, uh, Wednesday. Wednesday in the morning. Oh, really? So tomorrow is the day off? Yes, yes. Ooh. And what about yesterday? Did you go to work yesterday? Yesterday, no teacher. Um, 
And yesterday. Also, uh, day off? Yes, day off. <laughs> cool. Hmm. That's nice. So you have Sunday off, Monday work, Tuesday off. Nice, man. Saturday, Saturday too. Saturday. Saturday <clears throat> also. Saturday from oh. Tuesday. Day you off. know what, Francisco? We used to like you. No, caía bien, but now not that much. Come on, man. In this chief, uh, the day off are four. Uh, oh. After uh, uh, um, teacher, how do you say it's nueve días continuos? Nine. Oh. Nice. You say it like this. Nine days. On Continuous. A row. On a row. Nine days. On a, uh, nine days on a row means on a row. seguidos. Continuous. Yes. Or nine maybe. days. So, sure. so you work for nine days on a row and then you rest. Yes. Oh, um, no, that, then that's okay. That's okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> okay, teacher. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, so it's a little bit heavy. Nine days, wow. Uh, the uh, this uh, because uh, in this in this week the day off are uh, Monday and Tuesday, and uh -huh. after uh, our five five days uh, to work. In the other week, uh, continuously in four days, four days, and after one one day off. Oh, wow! You see, I never quite get your schedule, my friend. <laughs> the only good thing is this: remember, Francisco, tonight you stay with me after the class, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay. Don't forget. Don't forget. Thank you, Francisco, and welcome. Thanks, teacher. Let's see. Wilfredo. Hello, Wilfredo. Hi, teacher. Hello, Wilfredo. Look, I'm fine. Friend, I, I am sorry, but you know, I am I am curious by nature. Curioso. Those that you got behind curious. yourself. Yeah, curious, curious. Those that you got behind yourself on your window, those are shades or blinds? Are they Sorry. shades or blinds? Lo que tiene a su espalda en la ventana. Are there shades or, oops, I'm sorry. Oh, it, it, is my, it is my, it is only a, how do you say? Okay. Like a corti, cortain? Yeah, but. There's a difference. Blinds, they are like, they are no see-through. Las blinds, no se ve nada. Las chains, you see a little bit. Light pours in a little bit. Se ve un poquito de luz. Permite I pasar can, claridad. I so, are they light. chains? Oh, they are chains. Okay. Okay. Yeah, because it is, I, I, in my, in my, my living room, there is, it is, uh, how do you say, teacher? It is, it is a little fresh than in the, in another the rest of, yeah, in the rest, the rest of, the of the cast. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, when we say, I, when we say persianas, we say blinds. Blind. Blinds means ah. persianas. It also means ciegos, but. Okay. But you see what I mean? You cannot see through. No se puede ver a través de ellas. That's why they are blinds. Okay. Right. New world for me. Yeah. And tell me, how was the weekend? What about yesterday? It was it was interesting, teacher, because I I called that I like me to do it. I went went to my family in the in the in the morning. We went okay. to to shopping with my, oh. my children. 
Yeah. Oh man, but, that's terrible. That's terrible. And going shopping is oh, I, it's painful I, for the wallet. I, yeah. For la cartera. Yeah. My goal was trying. Yeah. yeah. But, but I enjoy when when I I can go with them because my my children they they like uh, my friend. Yeah. Oh, all that's that we cool. Are, yeah. We all be making making joking. Always they are, they are joking with me. That's the way they are joking with me. That's the way you say it. You don't say they are making jokes to me. You just say they are joking with me. Yeah. Oh, that's Thank nice. You. Yeah, it's always good yeah. to have a good relationship with the family. Yeah. And of course, with the kids, it's even better. Yeah. And what about you, teacher? How about your weekend? Uh, my weekend, well, that's usual, working, working, and also working. You know, that's the way it goes for me. Let's see, today, well, today I went to work in the morning. Oh, in the afternoon, not that good. I had to attend uh, two funerals today. Hey, I, I went to the, the one, uh, Saturday at night. I went to, but how do you say, Belorio? In Viewing. The... Viewing. Viewing. You win. Um, yep. Yeah. Uh, a, a friend told me in the afternoon, and he he um, he told me that here her his grandmother died. Oh, passed away. Yeah. Passed away. Passed away. Falleció. Passed away. Falleció. Yeah, today I went to two funerals. Yeah, you know, uh, uh, yesterday there was an accident on the street, uh, on the street to go to Peque, on the way to go to Peque, from San Martin to go to Peque in a pickup, and, and two persons died, and four more are. Uh, are in the hospital and they were uh, they were some people that I know I used I taught uh, some of the relatives yo les di clases a algunos de los familiares so I mean I had to attend and it's it's very hard it's a hard situation yeah. but you know that's part of life uh, but each... that's part of life but... Welcome, Wilfredo. Thank really, you very much. Really well. Nice Thank talking you, to you. Oh, you. Nice to you. Okay, guys, let me get the attendance. Amber El Elvia Alfaro Gomez. Present. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernández. Present, teacher. Claudia Lisset Ramos Barrientos. Daniel Eduardo Sagueda Valencia. Present, teacher. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Thank you. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Thank you, Claudia. Thank you, Francisco. Okay, let's see. Um, José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Not here yet. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. María Luisa Morales de Corpeño. Present teacher. Marta Navelinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Thank you, Marta. Néstor Omar López Castro. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Roxana Ibet Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Walter Mauricio Morales Arauco. Present teacher. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. Shanira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present teacher. 
Thank you. Marcela Margarita Fuentes Nuila. Present teacher. Jensi Elizabeth Miranda de Odanes. Present teacher. Fabiola Georgina Silva. Present teacher. Thank you. Thank you, Claudia. Yes, I could hear you. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. And let's see. Uh, Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Thank you, Nicolás. Right on time. Hey, yes. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay, guys, let's continue talking a little bit with some of you. Let's see who else is around. Miss Janira Elizabeth, hello, good evening. Janira. Well, I think Janira is Hi, not available. Teacher. Oh, there she is. Come I'm on, sorry, Janira. my internet connection is not good. I, I can hear you, but like a robot. Oh, really? Well, I am a robot. No problem, Janira. <laughs> we will talk later. We will talk later, okay? Okay, teacher. Roxana, hello, how are you? Hi, teacher, good evening. I'm fine, and you? I'm fine, I'm cool, thank you. So tell me, how was the weekend? My weekend, it was very interesting because um, Saturday, Saturday at morning I was working. Now I, I had a lot of things to do in my work. Previously oh, really? finally, to my closing, finally. yeah, all the time. And um, in the afternoon, I was taking a rest in my home. In the, in the afternoon. In the afternoon, in the afternoon, I was uh, taking a rest. And at night, I, I have to, no, no sería, just, Yo tenía que ir. I, I had to I had to go. I had to go to my um, best friend surprise dinner surprise. Surprise dinner. Best friend surprise dinner. Yes. So I went and Sunday I say I, I was stay at home. And in the afternoon, I went to take some uh, dessert and uh, dinner with my best friend. Uh -huh. And that's it. And today I was working hard a lot mm -hmm. yeah, with sure. Janira, with Ana Belinda. Mm. Uh, yeah. Even uh, harder to believe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but everything is okay, I think so. Now I have a little uh, headache, but I'm here. Oh, that's cool. I like your attitude. I'm here. Like, I'm anyway. here, yeah. <laughs> the I'm weather is so hot. Yeah. So, uh, it's very Horrible. difficult. <laughs> Last night before the rain, it was terrible. In your house, uh, it was raining. Yep. In my it house now. Night. It rained pretty hard, but before the rain, man, it was terrible. I turned on the, the air conditioner. I couldn't go to sleep. Do you have a no, actually, air conditioner? <laughs> yeah. I the have bedrooms. a ventilador. How do you say ventilador? Fan. I have a pan working all day since no, but it's, but it's 7 a.m. at 10, 10, 10 p.m. It's just in the bedrooms, in the bedrooms. <laughs> and actually, when I when we acquired the house, they were installed already. Yeah. So the previous owner, the previous owner had them installed. That's fine. You are a rich person. Yeah, whatever. You should see me 
you should see me sweating when the when the electrical bill comes. I'm like, no, I don't want to wash it. Because <laughs> okay. it's expensive. Well, yes. thank you, Roxana. Nice talking to you. Thank you. Okay, guys, let's see, let's see. Hey, Carlos, how are you? Hi, teacher, good evening. Good evening, Carlos, how's everything? Tell me. I'm fine, teacher. Actually, I'm how fine. Was, how was the weekend? Okay. Uh, Resting, sorry. having fun. Interesting, yes. teacher. Yes, uh, um, on Friday, I I went with my daughter because she has a, her, her first dose of vaccine uh, in the afternoon. And on Saturday, we went to, I don't remember. <laughs> oh, <I don't> <laughs> yes, I don't remember, but I, but you went out. I, yes, I I, I I have I went out, and uh, ah, I, I remember I bought uh, some piece of for 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 fix it, uh, fix it uh, by cycle bicycle bicycle. Yeah. Yes, bicycle for my son, and I I bought uh, some pieces. And on on Sunday, yesterday, I okay. You bought some parts. Yes, I I, I, I bought some parts. Um, yesterday, I tried to repair, try to fix it. Come on, you fix it or try to? I try to because. I don't, uh, how do you say, no me di cuenta. Oh, nice. You say it like this, look. You say, I didn't, I didn't realize, no me di cuenta, I didn't realize. I, I, I didn't realize, teacher, uh, the spark. I, I think the spar or how do you say rueda? The Liana. tire, the tire, the tire, uh, the tire is a, a torcida teacher. I don't, I oh, don't. Oh, oh no, yeah. not the tire. You mean the wheel? The wheel, el ring. Sí, yes. The wheel, the wheel, the wheel is is the torcida. Is bent. The wheel bent. is is bent. Okay, it's bent, and I bought uh, the chair. Uh, the uh, I bought uh, pedals, uh, but I I don't bought uh, the wheel. I didn't buy. I, I didn't, didn't buy. I the... didn't buy the. Well, the wheel, wheel, the wheel, the wheel, and for for that I I, I can't uh, fix it uh, completely. Okay, I couldn't remember. It's in past. I couldn't. Okay, I couldn't. I couldn't oh, that. fix it. Yeah. <laughs> well, that happens. That happens. You know. Sometimes it happened to me that I, I mean, I disarmed something and when I put it back on, I mean, I got a lot of pieces left. That happens sometimes. Yeah. But my children is, is very happy with the cycle. <laughs> oh, that's cool. That's cool. Yes, teacher. Yeah, I remember. Let's see. Riding a bicycle. You know, when I was young, I used to love doing that. Yeah. But I was uh, very, very young. I was like 16, 17. We used to, with some friends, we used to ride from, from San Diego to San Marcos. Really? Yeah. 
it was it was fun but i was young at that time you know and i didn't have uh, some of the habits that i took on later <laughs> Nowadays, man, I cannot, I cannot last long. For <laughs> yeah, yeah no. easy for me. Nah, okay. no more, no more. Well, <laughs> thank you, Carlos. Nice, okay, interesting you. talking to you. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Maria Luisa, hello, how are you? Hi, teacher, how are you? I'm just fine. How was the weekend? Tell me, good evening. Um, so Saturday in in the morning, I went to work. In the afternoon, in the afternoon, I went to the to visit my sister-in-law mm -hmm. at eleven o'clock. O'clock. Oh, at night. The the wife so so much uh, so much that uh, we don't uh, feel feel the time no sentimos el tiempo yeah um that's good in the 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 yesterday first we went to long to church to church church yeah, to church. Um, then, yeah. to church. Uh -huh. Then we went to to lunch um, with my children, and then and then we went shopping with my daughter. 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 Um, okay, that's nice. We we were. We worked all the afternoon and then we went to to dinner. Okay. Then, That's nice. then, then we saw, saw a movie uh, uh, with my children, the the movie the the stripper boy. Strip el niño a rayas. El niño de rayas. Strip. Strip. No. Strip. Strip is something else. Strip. I, I, I like. I was worried. I was worried because when you told me strip, that's. Uh, a sí. Desnudo. Oh. <laughs> so. And you mean. You mean the the boy with the with the striped uniform or striped stripe suit? Yeah. Stripe. I actually remember reading the book. I read the book. Okay. I never watched the movie. Yo leí el libro. It's a very interesting book. I I, I saw the things. Uh, the. Le he visto como diez veces. Oh, really? Sí, I saw. Sí. I watch las películas. Cry, 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 cry. I cry. Yes. cry. Yeah. Maria Luisa, when you talk about movies, you say watch, no see. Watch, ah, okay. watch, watch, uh -huh. watch the movie. Yes, you watch a movie. You watch, watch the television. Movie. Well, thank you very much, Maria Luisa. Okay. Welcome. Thank let's you. See. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see who else is around. Hey, Martha. Hello. How are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Martha. How's everything? Okay, teacher. And you? Well, you know, here, same old story. Work, work, it work. Yeah, and sometimes when I got time, I work. Oh, so tell me, teacher, what about you? Please. How was the weekend? Oh, my weekend it was a little tighter. And Saturday, I went to breakfast with my friends. Uh, in uh, in the afternoon, and we went to uh, shopping. 
uh, in Sunday. Uh, on Sunday. On, on Sunday. Sunday. On Sunday. Uh, I in the morning. I um, did many things, personal things. Uh, in the afternoon, I went to church. Uh, so, both day uh, uh, a little busy. Oh. But I'm ready for the class, teacher. That's very good. That's pretty important that you're ready for the class. So you have had a very interesting weekend, pretty busy actually. Yes, yes. But okay, teacher. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you can enjoy it doing things with the family. It's always good. Yes, it's the more important. Excellent, excellent. Welcome to the class, Marta. Thank you, teacher. Nestor, hello, Nestor, how are you? Hello, teacher, good evening. Good evening. Uh, now, I'm very well. And you? Now, come on, why now? What about yesterday? I'm okay, thank you. Yesterday, it was very good, but today, uh, it was a hard day. Hard work, oh, really? Day. Yes, uh, because yeah. uh, this day, it was a stress, a stressful because yes. almost all day I have no internet and Ooh. that I have internet. We say work. internet. Internet. Oh, okay. Internet. Yes. And that has the later my work. Yeah, I imagine. I mean, internet connection is something very important nowadays. Yes, Claro is very bad. Well, you know, here in El Salvador, my friend, we got problems with all providers, I think. Yes, you're right. Yeah, because um, I mean, I got two cell phones, you know, I got, I got two cell phones with two different companies and at one of my workplaces, no signal in none of them. So oh. that's a problem. Yes, I know. Yes, I know. Uh, uh, I have two, two uh, cell phones too. Um, one is Claro and the other is Tigo. And both are bad. Yeah, I mean, that's a big, big problem. But what can we do? <laughs> yes. There's no choice. Thank you and welcome to the class, Nestor. Thank you, teacher. Ah, thanks to you. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Where's Maria Alejandra? Hello, Maria Alejandra. Hello, teacher. How <laughs> are you? Good evening. I'm fine, you? Well, here, here, just watching your name right now. <laughs> How are you? How was your day? Um... Um, today have a very relaxing day for, than the other days, but okay. tomorrow... It's a I, Monday and you are saying a relaxing day, Maria Alejandra? Yes, but Ooh. the flat, flat front, uh -huh, yes. flat front are very quietly and um, I don't have a lot of Case and a cases, a lot, a of, lot cases. of cases, but tomorrow maybe I pay. <laughs> oh, I see more. Tomorrow you'll more. get more uh, because at the cierre, I don't know, closing, closing, and all the sales, uh, um, uh, como subir, I don't know. Go up. Uh, go up. All the cases uh, for pay he are uh, sus comisiones. I don't know. The commissions. The commissions. Mm. But a ver, 
<laughs> it's a, a very easy day. <laughs> that's cool, that's cool. Well, thank you, Maria Alejandra, and welcome. Thank you, teacher. Sylvia, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you? Hello. I'm good. I'm good, thank you. How was your weekend? Tell me. Hello, excuse me. How was your weekend? Uh, it was good. I I just worked. Uh, I was working, so I had a lot of work to do. Um, it's just that. Okay, what time did you finish working yesterday? Tell me. Yesterday at 8, 8.30. I okay, finished is it... a little bit late because so much work. Is it usual for you to finish that late on Sundays? Yes, normally at, at 8.30. Yeah, when I have, right. when I have a class, when I have to receive customers, uh sometimes i'm leaving almost at nine and then oh, i have really? to walk my, and do you usually get uh, late arrivals on sundays at night yes sometimes that's interesting yes okay and is that people staying at the hotel for the whole weekend on well if they get into sunday they come out what monday afternoon or they stay longer no, most of the guests when when are from here from El Salvador, they just stay for one night. But sometimes we I lost you. Um and sometimes they are coming for the whole week. Oh, really for the whole week? That's yes. Cool. We have some customers that stay with us for 14 nights or for two for two weeks or Sometimes oh really? Times, and do you uh, do you like offer say, packages for that type of clients? We have uh, some packages, yes. If they stay more than three nights, uh, or sometimes they are surfers, they are coming for surf, and we can offer like surfboards, rental, and we can offer like a a surfing package because oh. we bring we bring these customers to. Uh, to some uh, places to surf here in South, here in some places near for Sunday. That's cool. Yeah. Interesting talking to you, Sylvia. Welcome. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Hey, Nicolas, how are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everybody. How are you? Well, I'm just fine, uh, just fine. Tell me about okay. the weekend. What did you do yesterday, my friend? Oh, well, uh, my my weekend is very good. For yeah, the Saturday, I repaired my car and washed uh, the car of my wife. In the afternoon, I rested completely. Completely? Completely. Uh, at night, I went back to sleep. Okay, cool. So very concise. <laughs> yes. And uh, Sunday, I painted, painted, yeah, paint, I painted, painted a wall in the in the living room and the dining room, and I painted. A, a toy truck. A what? Uh, painted a toy truck. Truck. Oh, really? A toy truck. Yes, the truck is a is a a toy of my son, my mi hijo menor, my youngest son. My youngest son, uh, since is a 
a regalo, teacher, please. A present. Is a present uh, since uh, 10 years ago. Okay. It's a present from 10 years ago. It's a present from 10 years ago. Well, it's good when you get busy with stuff like that. It's nice, it brings back memories and you can remember. Yes. When your kids were young. That's something special, very special. Yes, I, I, I remember this day. Uh, my wife is my wife uh, by the present in Santa Ana. Oh, really? Boat. Because we are talking in past. Boat. boat. Yes, boat. The present in Santa Ana. Boat. Ooh. Well, Nicolas, thank you very much. Thanks for thank sharing you. with us. Stay tuned for you. Jesse, hi. Hi, teacher. How are you? Just fine, just fine. Here, ready to start the week. Tell me. Tell me, be specific about yesterday. What did you do yesterday? Yesterday, I, um, I got up at 8 a.m. Okay. I, I did my house chores. I did my house chores. I, I didn't go out yesterday. Because all the, all the, because I went out on on Saturday, but yesterday I did, I helped uh, to my brother with some homework. Okay, excellent. <laughs> How old is your brother? Um, <laughs> na nineteen. But he is in the yes. But he is in the university. He mm. is studying he's studying um low career. I don't know oh, how really? to say, no, you say <laughs> he's, he's studying law. He's studying law. He's studying law, just like that. I help I help him with uh, one of the one of his presentations. He had to discuss and I listened to him yesterday and also I learned some things with that. Okay. Well, interesting. Thank you very much, Jesse. My Sundays are boring this year. <laughs> No, they're not. I mean, you're always busy. Yeah, but don't worry, I don't prefer worry. Sunday to stay quiet. Thanks, teacher. Yeah, it's good. It's good to, to stay quiet, to relax a little bit. I mean, you don't need to be going out all the time. Excellent, excellent. Okay, guys. Thanks. Thanks to all of you for your participation. I guess everybody participated. If not, I'm so sorry, but we need to continue to move on. I'm sorry for Janita, but she tells me that her internet is back on track. That's great. That's great. Today, guys, well, first, if you realize, we have spent almost one hour speaking. And I'll tell you why, because uh, we are almost almost in finishing the second week. And right now, each week, I'm going to be having one day a long conversation with each one of you. That's for me to check on your advances on fluency, okay? If you have realized, I'm asking also for you more homeworks on writing. And that's for me to check also your handwriting. I am checking, I'm still receiving some. And that's why I haven't checked them all yet because I want to sit and check them. Just all together, it's easier for me but I'm receiving homework, that's great. And that's going to help me to check out how are you with vocabulary, with punctuation. And that way I can see if I can help you extra with those activities. 
Now, something else. Are you working on your final presentation? Have you chosen a topic yet? Remember, you gotta have, you're going to do a final presentation in the last week of classes. Okay? In the last week of classes, you are going to do a presentation. So, right, in this level, we are going to do it different. It's not going to be the last two days. It's going to be the last week. So the first day is going to be uh, four of you, four per day, okay? Four of you guys are going to be presenting per day. So remember, please, you need to choose, pick a topic, any topic you want to talk about, and you're going to make a speech, to make a presentation of two minutes. But two minutes, just speaking in English, uh, presenting a topic, okay? Yes, Wilfredo? Uh, yes, teacher. Uh, what, what about the presentation? Uh, what, what we are you talking about? Any topic you want. Whatever? Any given topic. Oh, okay. You choose the topic. It's free. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. It's a free topic. You can for talk the last about, week, uh, we have to do it. Yeah. Yes, for the okay. last week. And it's going to be a two minute presentation. You can just sit there and start speaking, that's okay. Or you can bring a presentation, you can show a video. I mean, it doesn't matter how you present it. What I'm going to evaluate is the speaking, okay? Okay, okay, teacher, thank you. No, thanks to you, excellent, excellent. Let's continue. Today we are talking about procedures, okay? We are going to continue talking about procedures. I am. Give me a second. Thank you. Let's see, guys. Today we are going to talk about procedure. We are going to check out some vocabulary about that. And because tomorrow uh, we are going to talk about procedures, but we are almost finishing working uh, with the with the full vocabulary. Okay. Now let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Because we are going to continue talking about the, 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 the restaurants business, but we are going to focus more on vocabulary. We're going to change, okay? And as I told you, today we're talking about vocabulary. Okay. So before we move on, let me, I'm sorry, guys. Okay, that's it. Let me please share with you oh my gosh it's time for the second uh, attendance i'm gonna get the attendance oh time's fly Amarelli alfaro gomez present carlos antonio murillo hernandez present teacher claudia Lizette ramos barrientos present teacher daniel eduardo segueda valencia present teacher fernando marvin gonzalez martinez Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. María Luisa Morales de Corpeño. Present teacher. Marta Navelinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Marta Navelinda Morales. Tío, I'm sorry. Néstor Omar López Castro. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Thank you. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher.
Shanira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present teacher. Marcela Margarita Fuentes Nuila. Present teacher. Chensi Elizabeth Miranda de Odanes. Present teacher. Fabiola Georgina Silva. Present. Perfect. Let's continue. Okay, guys, let me share with you something from the manual. Today we are going to work on page number 18. Okay, look, we got procedures and we got descriptions. We got uh, this beautiful work, having food, hand washing, sanitizing, full storage, purchase, tasting method. Okay, so we got here, listen, please. Wash your hands and forearms with soap. Use a brush to clean under your fingernails. Dry. Take a sample of the food you want to taste on a spoon. Put the sample on a second spoon away from the cooking area and taste the product. Buy packages full only from licensed suppliers. To let frozen food become warmer until it is ready to cook. Employees who receive in storage full organize items in the correct place to avoid bacteria. Equipment is washed, rinsed, and disinfected after each dish is prepared. Okay, guys. Now, I cannot explain vocabulary right now because that's what you are going to do. You are going to mash it, okay? The concept with the description, the activity with the description. And I know that one of them is a little bit far, but you are going to get it through elimination. You are going to have five minutes to do the activity. You are going to be working in groups of three members, five minutes. Let's start right now. In five minutes, I'll bring you back here and we are going to solve it together, okay? Okay, let's go check in the groups. El primero es. Es. <laughs> the teacher. Uh -huh. is the <laughs> uh -huh. Got you. <laughs> uh -huh. Tawin full, Tawin full. Um, mm, mm. <laughs> Uh, what is the left towel this... food is is not a uh, the number it's four the the left frozen food, food becomes yes exactly uh-huh Quiero ver. Hand washing. Mm. The first 
Wash hand your wash hands and wash hand washing. Hand washing. Hand no, the washing your hand is sanita, sanit, sanitizing. Así sería. <laughs> yes, yeah, sanitizing. The fear. Is is hand washing? Hand washing. So hand, hand, hand washing. Hand, hand washing. Is a letter B. Hand washing. Okay. Number one. Uh, Number one. I think is letter B. Letter B. Hand washing. Okay. Hard washing. Little bit. Um, number two. The number two, I think so, is the letter F. Letter F. Test, testing meter. Uh, yeah. Number one, uh, letter, letter F. Uh, what means towing, towing food? Oh, when you put, when you have the food in the frozen and you put it so it can get not frozen. Uh, <laughs> you should repeat it, please. <laughs> okay, what happens to the food when you take it out of the freezer? Uh, Teacher, in Spanish, descongelar. Yeah, towing. Bueno. Towing food is descongelar. Towing. Towing, towing, towing. Towing food, yes. Towing food, exactly. Ah, okay. Descongelar okay, teacher. Alimento. Okay. Interesting new word, right? Yes. Tasting, I believe it's the tasting method. Uh, letter F. Question three, um, letter E. Yes. Yes? Yes. Mm -hmm. Question four, oh. letter D. Um, we take me four? How, oh, by the way, towing, remember, towing, towing, is, towing. is to let frozen food become warm. Uh -huh. Okay. Towing food. Oh, okay. Letter E. A. 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 Question five, letter D. Yes. D. D e F E E F A C. Yeah. E F E A D C. Sorry, you need a repeat, please. B. F E D A C. Okay. No, this E A D C. Let me check. B F E D A A C. Mm. I have A like one, two, three. 
For box? For box, you have A. Mm -hmm. A. Yeah, that we put is like to let frozen food become warmer until it is ready to cook. Mm. A. Maybe. I don't know. Is, is... Uh, and can we put it congelado? Howing. So, Howing. 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 Without T. No, Towing. 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 Yes. Towing. Towing. Towing foot. Towing. 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 Yep, Towing. Okay, thank you. Mm, employees can recite. Yeah, yes, maybe. Yeah. So B F A, no B F E A D C. Yes. Okay. Four arms, four arms, four arms. And washing is the first. What's your hand? Hand, hand washing. Hand. hand washing. Hand washing. Hand washing. Hand washing. Hand washing. Hand washing. And the third. The third. By package food only from listen suppliers. Um, Purchase. 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 The four to let frozen food become warmer until it is ready, ready to cook. Is at the for me is testing um hands washing. No, is. The letter A, Tawin Foot. Yes. Yes, compañero. For <laughs> <laughs> okay. Roxana, she she's always traveling. <laughs> no, it was when I was a young. Oh, that was long ago. Yeah. Five oh years ago, four you, years ago. You still remember? So, so. <laughs> so you, in that case, you can say it like this, Roxana. Oh, that was back in the days. ¿Cómo? Back in the days. Allá en aquel ah. Roxana. En aquel entonces, was back in the days. Up, uh, trip? Sorry? Where was your last trip? My Where last or trip? when? Donde? Donde fue su último viaje? For work? Okay, then the question is like this. Where was your last trip to? Uh, where was your last trip to? My last trip... Uh, it was in Brazil when the to pandemic Brazil. Brazil when the pandemic started. I was uh, traveling for work, and Najib closed the airport.
teacher. <laughs> My computer tore off. <laughs> what are you doing here, Maria? <laughs> Oh, I forgot to put the el cargador. I don't know. <laughs> oh, to plug in, to plug uh, in, to plug in and turn off and. <laughs> oh, Okay, let's see, let's see, everybody's coming back. Okay, everybody's back. Let's jump to the next activity, yes. Let's solve this exercise all together, let's see. Wash your hands and forearms with soap. Use a brush to clean under your fingernails dry. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Hold on, give me a second. Let's see, Ambar. Wash your hands and forearms with soap. Use a brush to clean under your fingernails dry. Letter B, hand, hands washing. Okay, the rest of the class, do you agree? Letter B, she said. Is it okay? Letter B. Oh, B. B. Oopsie. Letter B. Okay. B, she said. Excellent. Hand washing. Wash your hands and firms with soap. Use a brush to clean under your fingernails dry. That's it? Exactly. Okay, perfect. Now let's see from group number two, Fernando. Fernando's been quiet today. Tell me. Letter uh, F, tasting method. Okay, Fernando said letter F, tasting method. Please, Fernando, read the whole paragraph. Take a sample of the food you want to taste on a spoon. Put the sample on a second spoon away from the cooking area and taste the product. Perfect. From group number three, let's see. Group number three. Walter, tell me. Okay. Which one is it? Letter E. Letter E. Okay, let's see. Walter said letter E. Please, Walter, read. Uh, purchase. Yes, read this, the paragraph, please. One, two, three. Yep, bye. Ah, okay, excuse me. Buy packing food only from Nissan suppliers. Okay, perfect. Just remember, package food, food only from licenses. License suppliers. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you, Walter. Okay, now let's see from group four. Mm -hmm. William, tell me. Which is next? Two left frogs and food became one until it's ready to cook. The letter A. Letter A. Towin food. Towin food. Towing for. Perfect. Now let's see, I got. Next group is Marcela, Nicolás, and Chanira. Chanira, you've been quiet today. Tell me, next. Okay, is letter B. Employees who reside, receive and storage food organized item in the correct place. Okay, that's which one you say? Letter? Letter D, right? 
letter D. Full storage. Yeah. Thank you. And yes. let's see. Wilfredo, please tell me the last one. Okay. We we think that the answer is letter C. Letter C. Sanitizing. Perfect. Please read the paragraph. Okay. Equipment is washed, rinsed, and disinfected. After each, after each dish is prepared. Rinse. Rinse. I'm sorry. Perfect. Rinse. Ah. Wash, rinse, and disinfect after each dish is prepared. Prepare. Okay. Perfect. So everybody's got it like this? Yes? Okay, let's move on. Let's continue. Let's. Okay. Now, in the same groups, we are going to do this exercise. We are going to choose two of the procedures you follow every day at your workplace, and you are going to explain these procedures to the class. Okay, what are you going to do? Check in the chat from Zoom. You're going to choose two of the procedures you follow every day at your workplace, and you're going to tell them to the class. Okay, so let's do it like this. The instruction from the manual says two of the procedures you do, but as you are going to be working in groups of three members, you're going to choose one procedure per person, okay? Think about one procedure you do in your job. Like, uh, well, like Roxana, she told me she works, she works, well, she pretends to work uh, using a platform, right, Roxana? But to log into uh, the platform, you follow a procedure, right? Okay, Shanira works dealing with cases. To do that, to do that exercise, she follows a procedure. And let's see, uh, um, Wilfredo has to check out reports or present reports. In order to prepare those reports every day, he has to follow a procedure. Uh, Ambar makes works in sales, right, Amber? So whenever she Correct. whenever she makes a sale, of course she needs to follow some procedure in order to present it uh, for it to be approved and stuff like that, I imagine, I imagine. So that's what I want you to tell your classmates. How do you do that procedure? You will have 10 minutes for this activity. It's 9.25, so 9.35, I'll bring you back and we are going to start talking about those procedures, okay? So be clear, be concise. Those procedures I wanted to be explained the most five sentences, five steps, okay? Talks, don't make them too long. I want them clear, I want them concise, I want full sentences, okay? So you're going to have 10 minutes. Now, my advice for you, the first three minutes, divided when you're in the groups, the first three minutes, please spend them on your own, preparing the sentence you're going to explain to your classmates, okay? Unless you have them everything performed already in your head. But I will advise you to first prepare what you're going to tell your classmate and then explain to them. Is there any question? Okay, guys. Let me check the groups. I'm just going to move one person. Okay, groups are created. Please jump in.
Hi. Yesi. Um, I work as an, an auxiliary auditor. I think they call teacher. What happened yes. with Maria Alejandra? We left Maria Alejandra. Maria Alejandra. Sí. Is she a student in this class? <laughs> Maria, Maria Alejandra was in this group? Yeah. Well, right now is, she's in another one. It's just that she had a problem with her computer. You okay. Know? Uh, she forgot plugging in the charger. Mm. And she disconnected. Okay. So you're going to be working the three of you. Oh my gosh. So sorry for you, Carlos. These two <laughs> ladies are hard. <laughs> yes, teacher. <laughs> These two ladies are Bistima. hard. <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean, these two ladies are very strong girls. So, <laughs> in your case, Carlos, stay in your case. You got Amber here and Roxana. That's hard. Yes. Hasta se levantó Amber. Oh, para yeah. contestar. Yeah, you see, that's why it's true. It's true. Amber is like, what? What you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, I am I am happy to see Amber like she's got like that. That means that she's back on track. She's he wants to properly. fly. Yeah. <laughs> that means that she's back on track. She's recovered perfectly. <laughs> okay. And Amber says, yes, I need to get back on, on the business. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys continue continue i'll be okay, gone teacher. otherwise amber will kill me so i'm gone bye <laughs> so maybe pre print or send for email uh, for approval for a what print or for send for, for email for approval approval oh for approval yeah approval for approvals Yes. Bring or send mm. for email for approval. Okay. Yes. Next step maybe is approve what? Teacher, cotización se pronuncia así. What? Yeah. Quote. Okay. Quote. Quote. Okay. Oh, approve. Next step is create PO. After, after bring or send for email. Yes. Okay, great deal. We design is 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 the approval electronic. Print the PO um order the product. Print PO and order the products. Okay. Yes, okay. And in your case, Fabiola. In my case, maybe the most important um, take three ah, ah. orders. And we have to give the key to the guest, and then we have to uh i bring i accompany the the guests to the room that's the procedure that that i follow when i register a guest when a guest comes to the front desk and they check in okay okay what about you uh, francisco okay uh, what do you do uh, maybe uh, when I I get in uh, electrical construction data. Francisco works Francisco works roasting things up on a mic microwave, you know. Francisco uh, cocina de todo es el trabajo. They, make, they throw x-rays to everything. <laughs> 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 
It's your many, many things to do in a little time. <laughs> to... yeah, that happens, that happens. We well, always watch the prices. When I'm making a budget, I search in about three different sites to see uh, the higher price. So it could be a reference. Then uh, after I made all the budget, I check it again and compare it with, with what we have in the plans. So uh, I can be sure that I have forgot nothing. And then made the document to send it to the client. Share screen. I for for solve this problem, sometimes I need to call the user by phone mm -hmm. and talk mm -hmm. with them and ask what is the problem. Or sometimes mm -hmm. I send an email or receive email for get. Uh, more information, but sometimes it's necessary to share the screen because I need to oh. uh, watch the the form that they make something for understand more about the problem. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got it. Okay, and you, Marcela? Um, we. Uh, we prepare informs uh, okay. for the audit. So we had to know the client and make some, we say, paperwork and papel de trabajo. And we, uh, we had to, I don't know how to say, uh, every day I need to check to how many permission I'm going to have to the next day. Then I need to find a way. I need to find that um yeah, I I guess find a way to to don't lose capacity to produce. Server, server room. And, and after is, uh, we take a temperature in um, UPEs. And after we take a temperature in a battery, Battery room, and after we have a um, uh, take a picture, uh, um, picture. How do you say contador? Pero el contador de luz o el medidor de luz. Oh, you just say the word, my friend. <laughs> That's a measure. 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 Yeah. Or you can say uh, electrical measure, no. Electrical meter. Electrical meter, como el metro. Okay. Electrical meter. Or, yeah, electrical, or mm, mm, how can I explain this? The most correct way is, uh, is the light meter that's actually the name es, okay. si se refiere al medidor de como el que de está midiendo la gente de, de KS, right? yes yes that's right okay that's a light meter okay teacher thanks and you're welcome the we we take a picture uh, of um, uh, different 
parameter, parameter of a Parameters. live mirror. Parameter of a live mirror. And then uh, we have, uh, uh, we uh, type uh, all information in a, in a chart. And then we we send an uh, email uh, from here to the report is made. You finish, guys? Hello, Silvia. Hello, Francisco. Hello, Nesto. In my case, Hello. I'm routine and every day is uh, uh, I had to clean it. And my desk is every day. And you re and reviewed and check in May. I said in May and prepare and templates. Um, Templates, so, templates. Template. <laughs> Excuse me, teacher. And templates. And templates. Okay, yeah. me. What is template? Excuse me? What is template? I'm sorry. Oh, okay, yes. Nosotros le decimos moldes. Son moldes que hacemos para entregar. Yeah, that's para... exactly templates. Templates, moldes. Moldes en cartón yeah, but... para que. Sí, sí. Keep on. Tell Continue. Explain it to her. No, 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 no. no. Explain it to her. Excuse me, I'm speaking, I'm speaking in Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Janita, you're back with me? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, please explain one of the procedures you perform at your workplace, please. Okay, for example, Marcela. She said that uh, she prepared an uh, info for our audit and she works in paperwork, I don't know, how do you say, uh, maybe papel membretado? And you got me with that. I see me, I don't know the word. Oh, okay. Oh, no, 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 no. I just get it, I just get it, I just get it. Let's see, hold on. Legal paper? No, letterhead. Letter. Letter help, letter help paper. Yeah, you can also say okay. legal paper, but it's letter help. Letter help. Letter help, okay, letter help usually it's, it's encabezado, but in this case, letter help paper is papel membretado. Okay. She said that she used a letter help paper for make a info and send to the client. 
she compared the date, compared account, and found uh, and search for a difference. When she have an in for uh, finishing, she sent to the client information and give a suggestion for solve this difference that she found. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. And uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Mm -hmm. uh, Nestor, please tell me about a procedure you perform in your company. Um, my, my company or, or my book? Yeah, in your, in your job, one procedure you perform. Ah, okay. Uh, for example, when we buy inks for the screen printing, printing, we yes. do a process, process called product visa. Uh, what is this? Um, the invoice of the product is present in a department called DNM. Do you know what is it? Presented. Okay. In a department called DMM. DMM. What is DMM? Um, uh, is a department that uh, check out all the the chemical product. Chemical. Yes. Okay. Now, I'm sorry, I mis I mispronounced the question. The question should have been this. What does DMM stand for? Okay. In English, when we say what does, and then we get the letters and we say stand for, we're asking, eh, ¿qué significan las siglas? What does it stand for? O ¿qué significa la palabra? Okay. Ah, okay. Please continue, mister. Okay, um, we present in that department. Um, I buy the process and I can enter those product into this discovery. Okay, perfect. Quite interesting, mister. Thank you. Yeah. Let's see, Claudia. Tell me, Claudia, one procedure you perform in your daily activities. My procedure or the my spirit. Yours, yours. Okay, okay. I I review my computer every day, the camera, the microphone. And, and after that I I open my my email and I open the the Meet, the Google Meet, and I and I teach math. Okay, perfect. Okay, I teach math and I send email in the day. I prepare class. I create exams. Okay, and excellent. I Just said, remember something, Claudia. Check. You check your computer. Okay. You don't review. You don't review okay. your computer. You check. Okay. Thank you, teacher. No, perfect. I, Thank you very much. I remember this. <laughs> yes. I don't oh. remember this. I didn't. Ya me, ya me hecho, I didn't. Okay, ya me había hecho esa corrección, pero no recordar. Don't worry, don't worry. It's okay. Okay, let's see. Roxana, lie to me and tell me that you work. I was working all the time, teacher. <laughs> okay, please tell me one procedure you perform in your company. Okay, in my case, uh, I. She doesn't work, teacher. She doesn't yeah. Work. Oh, wow. <laughs> 
I will send you a <laughs> ticket, Janira, tomorrow. <laughs> I, I work in your ticket, Roxana. Remember, yeah. I work. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, one of my tasks is uh, create ticket to Janira and Ana Belinda. Okay. <laughs> yeah, because uh, she gave me support to my uh, platform system. Yeah. Uh, but in general, uh, in the first one, in, in the first time, I need to uh, log into the VPN and then check uh, the email because I receive a lot of cases of the external um, agent. And I need to apply the uh, policies of the company to uh, decide if uh, the personal, the, the agent, ex if the external agent um, needs to uh, review, for example, of the payment or just check if uh, maybe they have a, some. Uh, Corregirlo si tienen algún error. Fix check. Fix, fix check if uh, they have another. Uh, if sorry. Fix check if they have uh, errors in um, his database because sometimes he he told me that uh, I need to pay uh, some commission, but I paid um, months ago that commission. So I need to uh, check by uh, my system, in my system, if uh, the payment apply or not, but uh, I need to check uh, some process about that with uh, my boss. And the policies, um, and I don't know, that's it. It's maybe it's, okay. it's the, the part more uh, hard. And then the hardest check, part, the, the hardest, hardest part. part. And then I need to check if the system are calculate uh, the commission in the correct form or if uh, I need to uh, report to uh, IT uh, some corrections in the system or something like that. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Quite interesting. Okay, guys, let's see. Oh, before we move on, before I continue, uh, in the platform, uh, every class you see that there's a video, right? So in the space of the video for video conference, let me share with you so you can check it out. Okay, today is video conference number eight, talking about procedures. Here I have posed a question for you. What do you do? You will explain one procedure you perform in your company for sentences. So you will add a post and these procedures you are explaining here to me, you are going to type it there, okay? That's for tomorrow, okay? Did you, did you see it? Lo lograron ver? No? Yes, oh, just yes, teacher. Me. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's see, I will explain in Spanish so we don't have problems with this, I'm sorry. Perdón, voy a explicar en español para que estemos todos claros. Eh, tenemos ahí nosotros, cada clase aparece el video, está subido en la plataforma, ¿verdad? Entonces la clase de ahora es video conference number eight. Abajo nos aparecen los posts, ahí les he posteado una pregunta. ¿Qué van a colocar ustedes? What we are doing here. You are going to explain one procedure. Remember, please, to all post. That's for tomorrow. 
As soon as any one of you post something, I will get a flag. Cada vez que uno de ustedes su respuesta, yo voy a recibir una, una, un flag and I can check it. Okay? So, please do it. It's going to help us, all of us. Because I don't think we are going to have enough time for everybody to participate. So, please, everybody do it there. And it would be great if you can check out each others. Okay? And I will be adding comments in comments if there are any corrections. Okay, let's, is it clear? Está claro? Yes, yeah, okay, let's. Yes, thank, you. Thank, you. thank you very much. Let's see, Wilfredo, please explain, chart, what procedure you perform in your company. Okay, I talk with my placement classmate uh, that the, the most important procedure in my company it is the first, the first one, check attendance. Check okay. attendance starting the day. And the second one, it is check, make a efficiency and quality report. And then I need to send to my boss. Okay. Um, but after I need to check, I, I need to do some activities, but uh, maybe the, there are some procedures too, because I need to check the production every two hours, two hours. And um, if the, um, the goal, it is not going to complete when the, around the 4 p.m., I need to, I need to explain to my boss what happened. Oops. Because, yeah, because he needs to the next day to explain to his boss uh, yeah. what happened. And, yeah, the um, chain of command it is, works like that. It is, it is hard, hard explaining what happened the last day because, uh, because uh, the result have to be ready every yeah. day. But the uh, excuses uh, are not accepted. Yeah, I understand not accepted. that. Yeah, but there is interest, yeah. interesting because we need to, every day it is, it is different, different, acti uh, not activities, but situation. Because okay. sometimes we have to, to, to give some permissions. Um, how do you say incapacidades? Lips and absence. Lips and absence, yeah. But um, sometimes the people need to make some different activities in her, their houses, but we need to give some permission to they can do it. Um, sometimes many, many women need to care her ba their babies, but what what we can do? I'm sorry, yeah. but you can also say medical disability. That's another medical, way to express it. Medical, medical disability. disability. Yeah. Um, okay, but right now it is it is common to our company. I I guess that in another company because yeah, it happens everywhere. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, Wilfredo. Excellent. Welcome, teacher. Okay, guys, let's see. Let's see who can. Walter, please explain one procedure from your company. Okay, teacher. And I had a uh, cleaning desk from there. And the uh, chat in May. And said in May, and and prepare a templates, uh, a delivery for the client for the excuse me for the supervisor. Uh, and prepare and report. Okay. In uh, and uh, and deliver. Uh, and my boss uh, and every day and afternoon 
um, the new and the and the uh, Oops, Walter, I'm losing you. I think we're having problems with connection. I'm sorry, the last sentence I couldn't hear you. Sorry, my friend. Okay, guys. Oh my gosh. I am so sorry for okay. the time that nobody, not all of you could participate. I am so sorry, my excuses. Perdonen que tuve un pequeño cálculo, mal cálculo del tiempo, no todos me pudieron participar. But tomorrow I will retake this activity, okay? With the ones who are missing. Mañana la continuo. Right at the beginning, we are going to start with this, okay? For the ones who are missing. So remember, tomorrow we are going to start the class telling me one procedure you perform at your company, okay? So don't worry that this activity, we are going to finish it tomorrow right at the beginning of the class. As soon as you connect, I'm going to start asking you again, what's one procedure you perform at your company? Don't forget to type it in also in the, in the posting because I need to check it out to check uh, vocabulary and spelling. And let me please finally get the final attendance. Just let me get everything ready. Okay, Ambarelli Alfaro Gomez. Present. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernandez. Present teacher. Claudia Lizette Ramos Barrientos. Present teacher. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. José Ernesto Present Osorio teacher. Morán. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. María Luisa Morales de Corpeño. Present teacher. Marta Ana Belinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Néstor Omar López Castro. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Roxana Ibeda Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. Shanira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present teacher. Marcela Margarita Fuentes Nuila. Present teacher. Jensi Elizabeth Miranda de Odanes. Present teacher. Fabiola Georgina Silva. Rodríguez. Okay, thank you guys. I expect to see all of you tomorrow. Please don't forget. We need to do the, the, the procedures. That's for tomorrow. We are go I'm going to ask you. Thank you very much. Have a good night. Good night. Tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Bye-bye. Bless you, everybody. Night. Have a nice night. night. Okay, let's see, let's see. Hey, Francisco, how is it going? It's my teacher. Enjoy my day off. <laughs> Enjoying your day off. That's cool. So, yesterday you didn't, no, yesterday you went to work, right? Not teacher. Uh, yesterday, Saturday uh, was the last day. Or Do Friday it. night. Friday, Friday in the night. At night. At night. At night. Sorry, teacher. Friday oh. at night. Well, that's cool because I mean you have had enough time to rest. You rest till Saturday, you rest till Sunday. So today was a good day for you. Yes, teacher. <laughs> that's teacher. nice. That's nice. How do you say bien descansado? <laughs> well rested. Well rested. That's great. I mean, it's necessary when you work a lot, you need to rest a lot. 
Yes, definitely. Yeah. Okay, now tell me, Francisco, how is it going? How do you feel the English practice? How do you feel your performance, your development? Do you feel improvement? Siente mejorías? Yes, teacher. Uh, uh, but uh, uh, in the listening teacher. Uh, speaking, uh, uh, what do you say? Me cuesta todavía, teacher. It's hard for me. Okay, it's hard for me, teacher. Okay, and uh, did I tell you the other day how to work in the platform? Le expliqué el otro día cómo trabajarlo desde la plataforma. Yes, teacher. Yes. The, ex the extra information you we got there. Uh, I, I can uh, I can see teacher uh, the centro de ayuda did I explain to you uh, uh, I I can't see that information teacher uh, what do you Oh. oh, you have not been able, you don't have, you haven't had time to do it. Yes, teacher. Um, uh, primero, eh, tuvieron que operar de emergencia a mi papá y de ahí, este, en la otra semana tuvimos un... Mm, <laughs> yeah, you know, I understand. I understand completely. I mean, sometimes uh, things just happen. <laughs> okay, but remember, we need to practice and remember that. Uh, please don't forget, I am reminding everybody, yo les estoy acordando a todos, we have extra help in the platform, tenemos ayuda extra en la plataforma, en el centro de ayuda, right? Can you see my screen? ¿Puedo ver mi pantalla? Yes. yes. Remember, yes remember the centro de ayuda, it opens to this page, you come down, recursos académicos, remember you got grammar, you got pronunciation, you got vocabulary, okay? You got a lot of vocabulary, if you can see. A lot of topics that can be helpful for you. Okay, teacher. And also remember that here, if you come to grammar, remember we are in intermediate level. So you got intermediate grammar presentations. You can be checking of the topics we are developing. Okay. Okay. So it can also be helpful for you. So don't forget to access that information. Well, whenever you got the time, you have told, you have already explained to me that this last day have been like very difficult for you. Yes, sure. Uh, okay, but even so, uh, well, let me tell you something. Uh, as far as I have seen your development in the classes, let me tell you something. I have seen that you have been working, I mean, a lot, and that I have seen uh, improvement in your speaking and in your listening. I think your participations are more like specific to the point, very consistent. that's very important. And whenever we got uh, activities, group work, I see you participating more actively, so, I mean, I can perceive that there's a lot of uh, improvement. Something else that I can check, that I can tell you that where you can check out your development and your improvement is the fact that uh, in my case, personally, in this level, I am speaking faster and longer. And you respond, you understand when I'm speaking, right? Yes, teacher. Uh, but in uh, the moment I uh, Create the sentence is uh, difficult for me. Okay, something that could be helpful for you is this. Mostly the problem we get right now is this, that some of you already know on grammar and you got vocabulary, 
but when you are trying to speak, you try to construct the sentence first in your head, right? Yes. yes. <laughs> okay. Don't do that. Don't do that. Try just to let it flow. Let it come out. No sé. I mean, I'm sorry, I will explain in Spanish. Mira, una de las cosas que en este punto nos pueden afectar es eso. Como ya conocemos un poquito más de gramática y como ya conocemos un poquito más de vocabulario, este, nuestra mente, al ser nosotros adultos, nos pide que organicemos y que estructuremos. Se nos ha enseñado a trabajar de esa manera a estructurar, organizar ideas y presentarse en un orden específico. Y obviamente cuando vemos esta estructura, decimos nosotros, de esta manera se va a hacer. Pero eso nos afecta un poquito cuando queremos hablar, porque a veces sucede que queremos construir primero la oración en nuestra mente para luego decirla. Eso nos vuelve más lentos, nos quita fluidez. Entonces usted me dice, ¿y entonces cómo le hago para explicarla? No lo piense, solamente... Pero es tomado. No la piensa demasiado. Solo déjela salir. I mean, eh, what you can do is this. Un ejercicio que le puede ayudar es una palabra nueva. Dos o tres palabras nuevas. Dos o tres verbos. Agárrelos en el día. Comience a ver cómo los aplica a su diario vivir. Actividades que usted realiza a diario. Porque a veces vemos vocabulario en los libros, en los manuales. And it's pretty good vocabulary. It's very specific el material y el vocabulario que vemos en los manuales es muy bueno, muy específico a áreas específicas. But sometimes it's not, the, it's not my everyday activities. No son las cosas que yo hago a diario. So try to insert, try to take vocabulary from there and place it in your own context. Trate de agarrar ese vocabulario y usarlo en su propio contexto. Las actividades que usted hace a diario. Okay, teacher. Like, okay. Un ejemplo, hoy vimos la palabra sanitize, ¿verdad? Yes, sanitize. Mm -hmm. Ok. When you go to have lunch, remember, cuando usted vaya a almorzar, acuérdense, oh, I have to sanitize my hands. Ahí sí es nuestro contexto, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Yes. Ahora bien. Y usted me dice, pero ahí estoy construyendo oraciones. Y entonces, ¿cómo eso me va a ayudar a mi fluidez? Le va a ayudar desde este punto de vista. Mientras usted vaya usando más palabras así en su diario vivir, se van a volver reflejos, se van a volver procesos automáticos en su mente. Ok. Pero, como le digo, no es de llenarnos de palabras. No es que voy a escoger 10 palabras para mañana. No. Two, three, tops. Dos o tres palabras utilizadas en distintos contextos. ¿Por qué? Porque si agarramos muchas, eh, nos vamos a frustrar cuando no las podamos aplicar a cualquier cosa. Mientras que usted agarra dos o tres, a lo largo del día va a haber una situación. ¿Y qué va a hacer? Mire, yo le recomiendo, si usted trabaja en oficina, si está en, si está en un escritorio, eh, grab a post-it. Si tiene un post-it, escriba esa una o dos palabras Póngalas en un lugar donde usted la vaya a tener a la vista. Y así en un momento del día, la va a ver, se va a acordar de la palabra y la va a ubicar en algo. Sigue luego trabajando normalmente. Más tarde puede ser que se recuerde de nuevo que tiene la palabra y ve cómo la, cómo la aplica en otra oración. I mean, that simple exercise will make your, your mind get used to be thinking in English. Lo que nos va a ayudar esto es a que su mente se vaya habituando más a pensar en el otro idioma. Ok, teacher. No sé si me explico. Yes, yes, teacher. Y considero I... que no es un ejercicio muy, muy difícil, ¿no? Bueno, no es difícil. <risa> no es difícil, teacher. Let's, no let's try to do it. Tratemos de hacerlo. Ok, y teacher. I... Hagamos I... algo, hagamos algo. Eh, practíquelo. Hagamos el esfuerzo por lo menos una semana. Si en una semana usted me dice, mire, me está costando mucho, este, no me funciona, dígamelo. Yo le propongo otro ejercicio. ¿Ok? Ok, Tisha, me parece. Ok, let's do it, let's do it. But don't forget, do it. Y después de una semana, si usted me dice, mire, si me está funcionando, vamos a continuar una semana más. Y luego vamos a cambiar de ejercicio porque 
después de un tiempo el hacer la misma rutina pierde el efecto uh -huh. tendríamos que saltar a otro ejercicio para que tengamos más recursos ok teacher. voy a intentar esta semana hacer esa, esa actividad let's yeah, do right. it let's do it let's see what happens I mean Mire, no todos los ejercicios no funcionan para todos. Algunos de nosotros no funcionan así, otros no. Si a usted no le funciona, buscaremos otro. Don't worry, ¿ok? Ok, teacher. Okay. Hey, problem, mister. Teacher. Right. Thank you very much. Have a good night. Rest. Thank you to you, teacher. Bye-bye. Uh,